The two most reliable ways to build a chain stitch machine were invented at nearly the same time in 1857, when James Gibbs and Charles Raymond received their respective patents. It was easy enough for me to grab the loop of thread in the model, but it's much more difficult to design a machine to do this reliably and repeatedly. Charles Raymond's design used a hook. The needle punctures the fabric and carries the thread down with it. Then, as the needle moves up, the thread between the eye and the fabric shortens and buckles, forming a little bulge of thread. At exactly this instant, the sharp hook catches the bulge, stretching it into a loop. And as the needle comes back down, the hook moves backwards and the needle passes through the loop. The needle comes all the way down, and then as it moves back up, the thread between the eye and the fabric buckles again. The hook catches this bulge, pulling the thread into a loop for the needle to pass through once more. Gibbs had a similar design, but the hook was rotating, 